from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, Dr. DeLaw. You poor woman. You must have been through well, a lot. I am a blessed woman. I'm a, you are amazing. You know, you have a beautiful nature, you have a great energy, and I really appreciate being here with you. Thank and you, you look very young for your age. Oh, thank you. <laughs> we'll take that. So you work very hard and you talked about aging and endocrine system and all that. But most of us really forget that the mitochondria and the energy cells is so important. And rejuvenation and regeneration is really the medicine of tomorrow. So if we want to stay young, is exercise and meditate and all that, but exercising too much is also hard on the adrenals, and uh, maybe exosomes, stem cells. Do you know anything about any of that? I actually wrote a, a whole book about this. Um, called, um, it's called the Six Keys, and it's about looking at the six body processes that age us. And um, the mitochondria is number one. Yeah, but it's yeah. looking at everything from your macromolecules, to your epigenome, to your wow. inflammatory awesome. response. Um, and so you're, you're absolutely right that exercise is stress. So it's about taking it in the right doses and making sure that it's not even so much about overtraining, it's more about under recovering. Uh, A lot of people don't know how to recover and they don't know how to rebuild, replenish, Door because it's so much go, 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 go all the time. So it's just, it, here's a perfect literal analogy, although it doesn't have anything to do with the mitochondria, but how do you make your bones denser, right? Doctors will say, oh, the workout, lift weights and jump up and down and just beat the shit out of yourself. <laughs> well, why, right? It's, it's stressing the bone. But then when the body is recovering from that injury, it sends in the bone cells, it has an inflammatory response, which is meant to be a good thing. Without it, we wouldn't heal from the common cold. And it heals and repairs the bone. But if you go, 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 and you don't allow the body to heal, recover, you get a stress fracture. So it is about learning how to utilize all the stresses in our lives to make us stronger, but without that recovery period and the respect for it, then you'll just end up being sick. broken, sick. sick, sick and broken. Yeah. But really exercising really Im improves your stem cells generation and exosomes and all it's that. It's how you do it. Yeah. It's, pretty, it's exactly yeah. what you said. And yeah. I do sort of talk a lot in the book about the different techniques. And what's interesting though is that it's like some studies will advocate for more endurance cardio to improve certain aspects of your fitness and others will advocate for more resistance training and others advocate for more hit training and i realize that the answer is about having a, a varied routine and balance so, yeah. that's periodized to build in recovery well thank you so much for the yes, work you my do pleasure. Thank you. All right, Jillian, uh, I'm sure you're gonna agree that we have some incredible clients, but we have one more client left. She was JT's number one client, now is CEO, Francie Baldwin.